Hello. How's everyone doing? Oh my God, I haven't done a live video in a while. <laughs> oh. All right, I don't have notes. Normally I'm like, if I'm like gonna actually like talk about something specific, I have notes. And this one, I don't have notes, so I'm kind of nervous. So I need for you guys to help me. Turn the monitor down real quick. <sighs> How is everybody doing? Say hi. <sighs> I just got the kids down. They're crazy. They're seriously crazy. I need like, I'm like energy drink and keto energy and I have all the energy I can get. So, we're going to talk hesitations. So first, all right, I'm going to write down the top ones. Hi, Peggy. Thank you. You too. Um, all right. Oh my gosh. I already am feeling like I need Compianza. <sighs> Why are yawns contagious? Does anybody know? Off topic. Hi, Angie. Guys, can we play music? Like, is Facebook still, like, crazy about that? Because it's, like, it's so quiet. It's, like, I just want to, like, have, like, a little dance party. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, guys. Y'all are so sweet. All right. So, here's what I need for you to do. I'm going to share a little bit about my story and then here's what I need for you to do. I, number one, you're welcome to share this video. Number two, you're welcome to do a watch party. Um, and I kind of want to see, are you guys, I see the green thing next to some people. Does that mean you're doing a watch party? Angie, Stephanie, I think that means you might be. Um, number three, this is a big one. So listen, I need for you to give me some top reasons why people are hesitant to join you in this business. I'm not even going to put out examples. I really want for you guys to just share. Not It could be your, your um, hesitation why you didn't join for a little bit or why you waited. It could be I, I haven't joined yet because this is my hesitation or... It could be, I'm a distributor and I've got a lot of people that haven't joined me yet and this is why, and this is why, and this is why, okay? Go. I want as many as possible. So please, please, please share as many as possible. And I'm going to share a little bit about my story. <sighs> so, um, I seriously might escape and go get confianza. Can you guys tell? This is what happens when I like start to get like a little anxious, um, when I start to get a little anxious, I um, I start to like, you can tell like my breathing. So hang on, I'm just gonna take it real quick. Yep, I just ordered it and it's right here. <laughs> so it's actually a new bottle. I have another one in the kitchen, but you guys will probably see how fast this kicks in. I love, I've done this before where I'm like on a video and I'm like, <gasps> like breathing and I'm like, oh my God, this is so annoying. So hold on. Just goes to show the importance of being a product of the product. All right. So we're going to talk hesitations, but first I'm going to share my story with you. I'm going to like, it's just going to be a short story. So if you have questions about it or you want me to touch on something specific, if you don't know my story, like by all means, guys, I am, I'm a complete open book. So please don't hesitate to ask questions. But again, for people that are just hopping on, I want you guys to share your hesitation. If you're... Um, if you haven't joined the business and you're thinking about joining the business, but you have a hesitation or there's a reason why you haven't joined yet, please feel free to share that. If you're a distributor 
and you're watching this and you're like, I have so many people that have shared this hesitation with me, please share that. Um, and I'm going to just get super real. And for those of you who don't know me, I'm pretty blunt. I just put it out there. Um, and I will share everything on my thoughts of those specific hesitations. All right. So here's my, here's my story. And I'm going to kind of, um, bring into play here and there. Um, my hesitations that I had when I, before I got started. So I um, am a special ed and math teacher. I went to school for eight years. I have two master's degrees. Um, and I really loved what I did um, as a teacher. Obviously, you kind of have to as a teacher. Um, we don't make a ton of money. So <laughs> it's no, no secret. Um, so there's a lot of teachers out there that probably have a second job or another way of making like some type of income. So guys, I have done everything from like rent out my house, go to an island to make extra money and then come back. So like I'm trying to constantly have different ways of making money, right? So, so that's something that I've done. I've just always had different ways of making money. Um, I did see Facebook posts pop up and with the it works stuff and I was like, whatever those wraps probably don't even work. And are these people really making that kind of money? And if they are, it's probably like the one person that I keep seeing posting. She's probably the one person that's just making all the money. Okay. So those were the things going on in my head. Ready to hear what happened next. I kept seeing posts and they kept annoying me. And do you want to know why? Do you want to know what I did? I blocked everybody that did it works. Every single person. I blocked them all because I was like, I don't want to see that stuff. I just am sick of it. I don't want to see it. It's like a commercial to me, right? <coughs> so I blocked them. And then after I blocked them and I wasn't seeing things anymore, I started thinking about the what ifs and I started thinking about the well, if she could do it, maybe I could do it. And well, I am getting married in a few months and my husband really wants an open bar. And honestly, I don't have a lot of money to pay for that. And teachers don't make a lot of money. And I'm struggling with, oh gosh, what if those people really were making that kind of money? What if those wraps really did work? Would those people be sharing that stuff if the wraps did work? But like, maybe I should learn a little bit about those wraps and see exactly how they work maybe educate myself just a little bit before I'm like one of those crazy people that like, right. I was never like vocally like a hater, but I was secretly a little bit of a hater when really it wasn't like hate. It was just like more of a skeptic. Okay. Raise your hand if you're a huge skeptic. Like it's okay because here's why. Number one, you don't know how these products work. Okay. You don't have to. We don't expect you to, you just got to ask questions. So number one, if you're a skeptic with the products, you just have to educate yourself or ask questions. That's it. <coughs> number two, um, if you're a skeptic with the business, here's why. Because it's out of your comfort zone. Like it's so out of the norm. It's out of the comfort, out of your comfort zone. And that's okay. Do you know how many people I talk to that like, they're like ready to sign up and they're like, but I'm seriously so nervous. Good. Like, I'm glad you're nervous. Like, that's a normal feeling. So let's take that nervousness and turn it into excitement. And let's have some fun with this. Because that's what this is all about. And I've been doing this now. So me, I've been doing this now for five and a half years. So people that have been following me know how I've done this business. They kind of, you know, see me on social media. Because let's be honest, I work this business I'd probably say like 95% on social media. So, um, so anyways, I unblocked these people and then I ended up signing up and I just took the time to, I'm a teacher and I was like, I had just gotten done grad school. So I was like in the mode of like educating myself guys. I swear to God, I made, I made uh, note cards of like things to like teach myself total crazy. Like just clearly I had just gotten out of grad school. So I was like trying to like teach myself about the products and then I'm like, God, there's just so many. Like, I don't know if I can learn all of them at the same time. I wish I would have had somebody to be like, dude, chill out. Like you literally don't have to learn everything right now. You will learn as you go. Like it's okay. Take a breath. So I was trying to like learn everything and figure things out. Um, and then I was also trying to figure out the business side of things. So I was overwhelmed but I knew enough to take one day at a time and kind of like set some goals for myself. 
So now when somebody joins my team, the first thing I say is, I do not want you to get overwhelmed. Let's take one day at a time and here's the steps that we're gonna follow. So of course, again, I've been in this business for five and a half years, it'll be six years in August. Um, I have things mapped out for my new distributors. So I basically laid out for you, you just gotta do it. So, and of course, anybody on my team too, you have the same stuff to follow. I share everything with my team. So I ended up getting started and within the first couple months, I, I made like a couple hundred dollars, which I was totally happy with, I was excited about. And then they came out with this, um, they came out with a bonus and it was a, oh God, $800 Christmas cash bonus. And I was like, ooh, huh, hey, like light bulb, like let's see what I can do with this. So all I had to do was follow three steps. So I was like, I can, I can do that. I might have to work a little bit more, but like, that's okay. Like if I can pay for my Christmas with cash, like that's not a normal thing for teachers to do. So, um, so I ended up reaching that goal. I got that bonus and I paid for Christmas in cash. And that was a big, big moment for me because as a teacher, um, that doesn't happen. Like you don't get like, Hey, here's an $800 cash bonus for following three steps. Go pay for Christmas in cash. Like as a teacher, I always paid for things on my credit card and then I paid them off. Like for Christmas, I paid it off by like February, maybe March. Like that was just normal for me. Um, so that was the moment where I realized that I could actually make some money in this business. So then they came out with a $10,000 cash bonus and I was like, okay, I just have to do the same steps a couple more times. So I just need to work a little bit more. So anyways, the month before that, the month before I got married, I ended up promoting to diamond which is $2,000 a month, which is basically me matching my teaching salary. Like that was a, a little interesting to me. So within seven months, I matched my teaching, teaching salary. And then I also got a $10,000 cash bonus. Again, that doesn't happen for teachers. Okay. You don't get a $10,000 cash bonus. Like, I don't think that's ever happened to a teacher. Like maybe I no. like, seriously, that's just weird. It's, it, it's like in a teacher brain, you actually can't even comprehend that. Like, it's like, that would not happen to me. That doesn't happen to me. That won't happen to me. That will never happen to me. That just doesn't happen because teachers don't have stuff like that happen to them. It's just not normal. Okay. So give me like a heart if you're a teacher, because I feel like there's <coughs> not that I'm only speaking to teachers, but I feel like teachers have this mindset. Teachers have this, um, the way that their brain works is that they just like work, 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 work for this person, this person, this person. And then, oh, you need me here? Sure, I'll go do that. Oh, you need me for lunch duty? Sure, I'll pick that up. Oh, you need me to get all that paperwork done by tomorrow? Sure, I'll do that. Like, and obviously there's other jobs out there that do the same thing. I get that. But teachers, I feel like I could just like hug all of them. Like teachers are... They're just not paid enough for everything that they're expected to do. And then they're expected to do more and more and more. And then, hey, we're going to have an event on the weekend. How about you come and you don't get paid for it? Like, there's so much stuff that teachers are expected to do. And if they say no, could you imagine an event, uh, a fall festival, and teachers are expected to come on a Saturday to help participate and to help with the fall festival because it's going to be benefiting the school. Could you imagine if a teacher said no? To going to that y'all no you, you, you can't say no unless you have something super serious like that you can prove that you're right it's basically like how you prove that you're actually sick for a sick day don't get me started okay low off task that's what i do sorry um okay so i ended up getting the ten thousand dollar cash bonus and that was really when like the big moment like i actually plan on quitting this business once i reached my goal of a couple hundred dollars and pay for that open bar at our wedding. But a couple months after our wedding, I ended up getting pregnant. And then that was when I was like, light bulb, like I could do this full time from home while raising my baby. Um, I'm in Arizona. I don't know anybody. There's no family near us. Like, I don't want to just throw them in some random daycare and be like, okay, see you later. Like, good luck with life. Like, hopefully they raise you well. Like, that's kind of how I felt. Not that I don't like daycares, but like, I knew nobody. I didn't, I, I didn't even know my neighbor. Okay. So like I was in Arizona in a very uncomfortable area, 
not knowing a lot of people. So that was a new reason for me to seriously kick it into gear. I was like, okay, game on. Like, I got this. I'm pregnant. Like, I want to go on maternity leave and I don't ever want to go back to teaching and I want to be done. So I pretty much did just that. So probably about, <coughs> when was that? God, probably like six months later because I was eight months pregnant. So that would, that would, that would calculate. Um, six months later, I ended up going double diamond and promoted my husband's business to diamond, which was a total of $8,000 monthly income. And then, um, we got a $50,000 cash bonus. So I looked at my husband when all of this was announced, like the bonuses and stuff. And I was like, listen, I'm going on maternity leave and like, I'm never going to come back. Like if I can reach these goals, like this is what I'm going to do. And he was like, game on like go ahead and he called it a hobby like he always called this thing a hobby and I was like I'm gonna prove to him so badly like this is not a hobby like I'm gonna make something out of this and and not that he was a hater because he wasn't but he had his little like comments here and there like oh oh like wait a bit way to like hang out on your phone with your hobby like he would just like say things that I was like I am seriously gonna slap you like we kind of, most people like have that where you have like that, like annoying, like, right? Like person. <laughs> My husband was that person, but it's okay because it helped me and it pushed me to prove to him what I was going to make out of this. So I also had people in my own family that were like questioning what I was doing and why are you have a master's degree? Like, why are you doing something that you do it from your phone? Like, People cannot allow this to enter their brain. They just don't know what it is because it's so out of the norm. But I used that to motivate me and I used it to push me and I used it to really let me drive myself because the thing in this business is that you really need to be self-motivated, which is, it's not that it's a hard thing, but it's also not easy. Like you're going to have rough days where you're like, I just want to stay in bed all day. Or like, I don't want to, I don't want to work today or whatever. And, and if you want to reach your goals, you've got to keep yourself self-motivated. Okay. During those hard times, during those difficult days, because you have big goals that you want to reach. So obviously for me, it was like, I was running after a huge goal that like literally nothing could get in my way. I was like, I'm going to be a stay at home mom. I'm going to raise my kid at home. Like I'm going on maternity leave and I'm never going back. Like nothing could stand in my way. So I tell my team, like, you've got to have a good why for what you're running for and what you're going after. Because if you have one strong enough like that, there was literally nothing that could get in my way. I was going to reach that goal. I didn't care what it took. Do you know how tired and exhausted you get when you're pregnant? Not to say that the second pregnancy is easier or harder. You usually you have a kid that you're chasing after, so it's probably difficult. But like I I didn't realize how exhausted I was going to be, but like you're you're literally growing a tiny human and it's sucking all the energy out of you and I wasn't like prepared for that. But I knew I was going to have to fight through so like some hard times. So it was like, I didn't care. Like I woke up early. Um, I made I, I, I made time to work my business because I had the biggest goals ever. And that was to go on maternity leave, never return, and to raise my kid and work from my phone. So, so I reached it. And then 10 months later, I ended up promoting to Triple Diamond. And gosh, um, I paid off all my student debt and my credit card debt. And like... That was something that I never really thought would happen. Like I, I, I never really, like when I started this business, even within the first year, I never thought that I would be like debt free in a couple years. Like I just didn't think that because it's normal to be, to have debt. Like it's normal, right? Like, do you see what I'm saying? That's so normal. But once you get in this business, it truly opens your mind. It opens your eyes to be like, hold up, like. I'm making like $3,000 a month. That's a lot more than I was. Whatever amount it is, I can start putting 100 here, 200 here. Oh my God, I can like start paying off debt. Oh my God, my credit card of like $5,000, I can actually start paying that off. Oh my God, my uh, student loan debt that I have is like $80,000 because I have two master's degrees and I was like, hey, let's hang out in school forever. Like I had so much student debt and then my mom had a parent plus loan for me. So I then owed her even more money for my student loans. And I'm like, oh, oh my God, this sucks. Like I'm literally like dying with like debt. 
why not hustle it? Why not work hard to then become debt free? So it's like, then you start seeing the big picture and then you start to grow and then you start to, to really want more out of life. And it really, this business teaches you to dream a little bit bigger. So hopefully me sharing my story the way that I have, um, shows you these things that are possible. Now I am not here to say that this was like a straight up shot, like to where I'm at now, because it absolutely wasn't. I have absolutely had hurdles. Um, people have quit my team. Um, people have said nasty things to me, but here's the thing. The right people are in this business with me. Okay. The right people are in this business with me and I want to help those people. And those people see what this business can do for them. And they're learning from me because I'm just literally being like, here, do this, here, do this, here, do this, here, do this. And it's all about duplication. That's what it's all about. I know what I'm doing. I've proven myself to my team and my whoever. So follow my lead. Like, you don't know what to post? Here, let me give you an idea. You don't know how to respond to that person? Here, let me give you a response to say to them. Like, you literally just have to be teachable. Are you teachable? Like, can you be teachable? Because, hey, guess what? I'm a teacher. So I'm ready to teach you. Are you ready to learn? But here's the thing. You can say all day and all night, yeah, I'm ready. But here's the thing. Are you ready to handle your husband saying you're on your phone too much? Are you ready to handle your sister being like, what are you doing? Why are you doing this stupid business? Those raps don't work. Are you ready to hear, are you ready for that stuff? Because I'm telling you, not everyone's going to get that. Not everyone's going to be like that. But you've got to not care about anything because guess what? Those people are not paying your bills. And for probably the first like five months, of my business, eh, maybe like the first three months, I think I just cared too much about what other people were thinking. I cared too much. Like I'm from a small town. So it's like, you're just used to that. Like when you're, when you grow up in a small town, like everybody knows everybody's business. My God, if I like snuck into the neighbor's pool, like it's, it's told over the announcements the next day at school. Like, you know what I mean? Like everybody knows everything about everybody. So it was very hard for me to get over that. The whole like people caring like oh my god I'm doing a live video and I have no makeup on like oh my god what are people gonna think of me I don't care I don't care and you guys can tell I really don't care because if people are judging me for not having makeup on they have no idea what my morning has been like I have two kids that literally run around crazy all day and I have to entertain them and feed them and keep them happy and <laughs> I have a lot going on. So guess what? I'm happy that I showered and look, I actually put mascara on and I have a cute bra on and I have a right. Okay. Those are the things I'm excited about. I don't care about makeup. So stop caring about what other people think, because guess what? Those people don't pay your bills. Okay. Nobody out there is going to be like, Hey, you know what? I'm going to help you be a stay at home mom. Uh, no, you're not like you're not. Li you literally are not going to do anything to help me. OK, I'm going to ha use this business to help me reach my goals, whether it be to be a stay at home mom, whether it be to buy this dream house, whether it be to pay off my credit cards, whether it be to pay off my student loans. But guess what? I made those decisions along the way and I was not letting anything stand in my way. So when things got difficult, I was prepared for them. OK, things have been difficult. I can sit here and talk to you a lot about that, but I will not. But for my team, I tell them when things get difficult, come talk to me because most likely I've been through that before or I know somebody that has been through that before and I can help you. So clearly my story was a heck of a lot longer than I really wanted it to be. But um, now I have two kids for those that don't know me. I have two kids um, and I get to stay home with them. I get to make my own schedule. I get to go to the gym when I want to go to the gym. Like I get to like do what I want. Right. And that's really fun. My kids played in the sandbox outside this morning and I got to work from, um, the sofa out there. Uh, did I just call a sofa? Like who calls those things a sofa anymore? Um, lounger. What's that? <laughs> the chair outside under the umbrella. That's where I worked from. Um, okay. So let's talk hesitations. What is your hesitation with joining this business? What is your hesitation with joining me or another It Works distributor? 
What is your hesitation? Okay. Is it that you don't have the money? Is it that you don't have the money? Again, I'm going to be super blunt. Okay. And I might be speaking to you and I might not be speaking to you, but would you sell something in your house right now? If I could tell you within a couple of months, you're going to be making $2,000 a month. Would you sell something in your home to get the money to start this business? Do you know how many people have told me when, when, when there's a discount, let me know and I'll, I'll join you. Do you know, do you know how many people have said that to me? We went from $99 and it was like, bam, it was like half off $49. Let's go. I message 500 people. Guys, people can say all day and all night, I'll join when it's this, I'll join, do it now. Stop making excuses. Go sell something in your house if you truly don't have the money. But here's also another thing that I see. People say they don't have the money and then they go out to dinner and they buy steak and potatoes with their husband. It's like, you could have started a business that was going to end up making you at least $2,000 a month, if not more. My highest paycheck has been $18,000 a month. Hi, that's not normal for a teacher. What if I told you this business can do a lot of really amazing things for you? Are you willing to sacrifice something? Are you willing to sacrifice that dinner out so that you can then start a business and start building something amazing for yourself and your family? Because I just feel like people don't understand or people don't see it as a priority. That dinner out was their priority. That's fine. But it, because if you don't see this as a priority, then honestly, it's maybe not the time for you right now. I need for you to see this as a priority because the second you join me, we're hitting the ground running and we're working it. And I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to do and exactly how to get there. And we're going to work together and we're going to work together on a regular basis. You might actually get sick of me. Like that might actually happen. <laughs> so stop making excuses about the money and make this a priority. Shuffle some things around if you really need to or throw it on a credit card and pay it. Make, your, make yourself work even harder the first month to pay that off immediately. Make it work. Do whatever you need to do. All right. You don't have a big network? You don't have a big network. Is that your reason? That you're like, oh, too many people in my small, tiny town are, are doing this. Is that your reason why you're not doing it? Because here's this little thing called social media. Have you ever heard of Facebook? What about Instagram? You heard of those before? Because here's the thing. I have built my business solely on Facebook, not even Instagram. Like I, I kind of suck at Instagram. Like I caught, like there's been times where I'm like, all right, let's go. I'm diving in Instagram. And then like a week later, I'm like, oh my God, I suck at Instagram. <laughs> I do Facebook and I'm really good at Facebook. So I'm just going to stick with Facebook, but I need to like, I need to keep diving into Instagram and like learning more and taking time to do it. But of course the two minions that I have upstairs keep me from doing a lot of that stuff. So network, if that's your struggle, you have got to open your mind and you have got to realize that there is a huge network out there and it's called social media. And that's how I built my business. So I will teach you everything I know on how to build your business that way. And that's how a lot of people build their businesses nowadays. So, um, but again, it's kind of like, you've got to be willing to try different things. Like you've like, does a live video give you anxiety? Probably if you've never done one before, it gave me anxiety. I was like, what did Facebook just come out with? Like, what is this thing? It's like a reality TV show. Like people are literally going to watch my live videos with my kids and wait for something to happen because it's live like that. That gives me anxiety. Like now it doesn't anymore, but at the beginning it did. Now it's like, Parker's like, mom, like I like went to the bathroom, like, come on in. Like what? Like not in a live video. Like that happens during my live videos. And it's like, you know what? This is mom life. Like this is me working my business, doing a video while my kids go to the bathroom and needs my help. Like that's just what happens. And that's okay because it shows people this, you can work this business at any time. You can work this business while you're home with your kids and that's how it's done. And that's okay. Um, so I kind of talked a little bit about husbands, but if you have a husband that is like super hesitant or wants you not to do it or whatever, here is what I have to tell you. I want you to go to him and I want you to say to him, do you trust me? Do you trust me and do you support me? 
Because if he's your husband, like he should, he should. <laughs> so if you say that to him and he says yes back, then say to him, this is something that I'm super excited about and I'm super passionate about. And I really want to give this thing a shot and I want to show you that I know what I'm doing. So I need for you to give me a little grace here because I really want to do this thing, but I need for you to be okay with it because you love me, because you support me, because you trust me. Okay. Give me three to six months, whatever you want to say and run with it. Okay. But here's the thing. I swear to God, if you say that to your husband and then you join and you don't do anything, I'm going to slap you because let's go. Like I literally have it laid out for you. You can easily make $500 a month by the end of this month. It is not rocket science. And then we will go for the $2,000 a month. Okay. So I'm not even, I'm, it's not like I'm literally sitting here being like, I'm going to teach you how to get $15,000 a month by the end of this year. Like, I'm not saying that. If you want to reach for that and you want to go even further, I will teach you how to do that. I really will. But right now, all I'm saying is if you want $500 a month, let's go. If you want $500 a month, you need to sign up today and you need to get to work. You can't like sign up today and then be like, oh, well, maybe like in a couple months, I'll like see how it goes. Sign up today, get started today, and get to work. Do everything that I'm telling you to do, okay? I will literally give you like a checklist, okay? I have everything laid out for you. You just got to do it. I'm going to literally coach you and teach you exactly what you need to do. You just have to do it. So let me scroll up. If anyone else has any hesitations that like people are sharing with you or whatever, some people have said like, I've done this business before and it just didn't work and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not ready to do it again. I'm not ready to try to do it again. Why did it not work for you? Like, did you actually give it a shot? Like, I feel like so many people sign up and then they're like, ah, money is just not falling into my account. Like I actually thought that was going to happen. It is not going to happen. I'll be the first person to tell you if you sign up and do nothing, you literally will make no money. <laughs> was that, was that a newsflash? Like, I think people know that, but y'all, you would be surprised. People sign up and then they're like, I just don't, I just don't know. I just didn't see the money. You literally ghosted the day that you signed up with me. You ghosted. So come on back, try it again, but you actually have to do something. All right, Jennifer, I have a lot of people that say they're hesitant because they don't have the time. Oh my God. Did y'all hear about how my kid was in the bathroom and I was doing a live video? Like, Here's the thing that's cool. You get to work this business into your life. So the number one thing that I'm going to tell people that are like, I have no time. I am so crazy busy. Here's my question to you. Do you have one hour a day? One hour a day. I'm not saying one hour to sit down at your computer from start to finish. I'm saying, do you have 10 minutes here, 20 minutes here, 30 minutes, right? Like, do you have that? Because I'm pretty sure everybody does. And if you're like, no, I seriously don't, then you need to wake up a little early or you need to go to bed a little later, okay? If you have one hour a day, however you wanna break it up, you can break it up. I don't care if it's during your lunch break while you're eating dinner, I don't care. If you can give me one hour a day, I'm going to show you how to make $500 a month, if not more, okay? You work this business into your life. How many times have like, like, right, like right now, like I could take a selfie and be like, Oh my God, my kids are exhausting. I need my energy drink and post a picture about it on Facebook. Who cares? Do a Snapchat filter since I'm not wearing makeup. Who cares? Um, I just took these because I started like almost hyperventilating. I could take a picture of this, post it on Facebook. I don't need to do a selfie. I don't care. I could like do it like this with my feet in it, whatever, like do a little pretty backdrop. Who cares? Make it work for you. Guys, guess what? Remember these wraps that I said that I was super skeptical about and I was like, oh my God, they probably don't even work. Guess what? They actually do. And guess what? Do you know why I didn't think that they worked? It's because I actually thought these were for weight loss. Well, yeah, duh, they're not for weight loss. Maybe I should have taken some time to educate myself. These are not for weight loss. These are to tighten, tone, and firm your skin. So after you lose the weight, 
get these bad boys on you and then it's going to tighten up the skin by shrinking those fat cells. Okay. Take some time to educate yourself about the products before you bash them. Yes, I'm speaking to myself. So this, I have actually taken pictures of myself wearing this while grocery shopping. That literally takes five seconds of my time. I remember I posted, there was a uh, I was getting dog food and I posted a picture. I was like, yeah, might as well take a picture. I'm wearing my wrap and I'm at PetSmart or whatever. Take a picture and you post it and people are like, wait, you don't have to like sit still while you wear that. Like you don't have, you can like move. Like people don't know because they're not educated about it. And guess what? That is okay. It is our job to educate them. So when I get to post this on my belly while I'm out grocery shopping or whatever it may be, like awesome. Okay, that's what it's all about. It's all about working it into your life. So one hour a day, that's what I'm asking. I have a lot of skeptical people spending the money to make money. I have one thing to say about that. It's a business. Let me tell you a quick story. My dad's a private, my dad is a private investigator. And probably about like three, four years ago, I think when I started like actually making money in the business, he was like, how much money are you making? Like, what's your like income with that? So we like talked money and he was like, how much did you pay to like get started? And I was like, a uh, hundred bucks. He's like, wow, that really is amazing. And I was like, hang on, you have your own private investigative firm. Not only did you have to like get a license and blah, blah, like take the test and write all that stuff. But then like as a private investigator with your own business, like you need cameras, you need this, you need that, you need... Right. And then you need like the back office stuff like, oh, my God, what are those like his spreadsheets and like uh, the, the way. Oh, my God. What's that? Oh, like to keep track of all the money and stuff like that. Whatever. Anyways, it's a big thing that you got to pay for basically for it to be on your computer. So anyways, I sound like an idiot. Um, Him and I talked and I was like, how much money do you think you spent before you even got your business started, like before you even like the first day of like, hey, I'm a private investigator. Like how much money did you spend? How much money did you invest? Who thinks they know? Take a guess. Who thinks they know how much he spent to invest in his private investigative firm before the first day of his like, hey, I'm ready to work. Anyone have any guesses? I'll give you a minute. Any guesses? Any guesses? Let me check on the kids. Kids are still sleeping. Do you want to know? $10,000 he invested on everything. Everything that went into it, it was about $10,000. Guys, that's crazy. And now... Think about where my business is at as a triple diamond. My buzz, my, my God, I can't speak today. My husband's a double diamond. We've made $90,000 in bonuses. I'm averaging anywhere from like $10,000 to like $18,000 a month. A month, guys. Yes, I've been in this business for five and a half years. I get it. Like, I get that that didn't happen overnight. And I'm not saying it's going to happen overnight for you. But if you get in this business and you get started and you kind of see the vision and you, you're like, oh my God, I, I totally see how she can do that and she's going to teach me and then let's go. But all I'm saying right now is all you got to do is get started and let's focus on $500 a month, okay? But I'm also here to tell you there's some real money to be made in this business that's even bigger than just that $500 a month. But what would you do for $500 a month extra. What would you do? What would you spend that on? Sorry that I keep like, ugh, this like shirt is rolling up. Um, so I'm kind of being finicky, sorry. Um, what would you do with an extra $500 a month? What would you spend that on? Can somebody comment real quick? Cause I'm, there's my thermo fit <laughs> reminder. See, even for me to use the products and, and um, take them, I need reminders in my phone. Otherwise I won't forget I, or I won't remember, seriously. All right, can somebody comment something because I just wanna make sure that the, sometimes like the comments go away and I like start to freak out because I'm like, oh my God, if people have questions. So can somebody just comment one thing? Otherwise I'm gonna go, let me go look real quick to make sure I'm not missing any questions or any comments. So somebody just say hi real quick. Hmm. Hopefully my 
Okay, there we go, Jen. All right. Okay, good. All right, I'm making, I'm seeing comments. Good. Um, now I'm seeing myself. <laughs> um, okay. So I think I answered that last question. You guys, it's like, you don't even have to invest monthly in this business. You get to turn your auto shipment off. Like you don't even need to like pay in monthly. You don't have to. For me, I say, if you want to be successful in this business, you've got to be using the products. Like you have to, because that's what we do. We share the products with people. So for me, it's a no brainer that you want to be spending around $80 a month to get the products. Now, if you turn around and sell them, like, like you'll see, like I have little like sample packs back there. You can turn around and sell them, but I say you got to be using them too. You just have to be using them if you're sharing these products. So does anybody have any last questions, any comments, any, anything? Um, excuse me, Lord have mercy. Um, if you have questions, I can definitely answer them. Let me know if you are watching the recording, then i um, just write hashtag recording. And then if you have questions afterwards, I'll still see the questions. Um, if you're watching the recording, so no worries there. All right. Are we good to go? Hopefully this helped. Hopefully this helped you guys. Hopefully this helped, um, anyone that's interested in joining you or me or whoever, but I'm here to help. So I hope you guys have an awesome day and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.